What's up everyone? My name is Abby. I like to read and my butt is so high that I don't I don't know if it's actually in frame. <laughs> I don't think I could fit it into frame. Oh no. <laughs> so it's Thursday. So you know what that means. Thursday Dad Thursday. Um if you don't know what that is, on some Thursdays I do a tag and I drink water. <laughs> That's it. Um and this time I was actually tagged. I'm so excited. When I do these tags, I normally just do them. I'm not tagged, which there's nothing wrong with that. You can always do tags even if you're not tagged. But this time I was tagged to do the We Ain't Getting Any Younger book tag by Jessie over at The Bookish Mom. I'll link her video below. I'll link her channel. Go visit her. Give her some love. She's great. She loves fantasy. And I get all my like adult fantasy recommendations from her because I, I, I trust her. She's gonna, she's gonna steer me in the right direction. So today we are doing the We Ain't Getting Any Younger book tag. This was started by the Codex Cantina. Um, it was someone's birthday, someone named Crypto, it was his birthday, so happy birthday, <laughs> and they started this tag. It's basically, the questions are written, um, to kind of mimic, like, um, they described it as raunchy adult birthday card sayings, so that'll be super fun. And this video, I'm not gonna forget to drink my water until the last minute, I'm gonna do it consistently, so I don't have to chug it, because that went wrong. <laughs> so, let's get started. So the first question is, while it's proven too many birthdays can kill you, the amount of cake we can eat is still under debate. Name the most recent book that gave you a sugar slash book high. Um, and I would definitely say A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. This book, there's like really not any conflict. It's, I mean, besides like tension between characters. But it's really just a filler between this book and the next book. And so it's just cool to see the characters again without all this heavy stuff going on. And it was just fun. And it was fun. That's all I can say. It was fun. And I felt good reading it. It just made me feel good. So I'm going to say this book. <laughs> Question number two is sometimes we get older and wider instead of older and wiser. Name the longest book you've ever read. Um, I've mentioned this multiple times about how big this book is, but Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. This book, let's see how many pages this book is. This book is 800 pages. I don't know, wait, 803 pages. And the pages are like so thin, but um, I loved every second of it. So good. So I don't mind that it's this long. I really don't. I love it so much. Question number three, the best part about pictures is that they're always a younger version of you. Name a book that you enjoyed more the first time you read it than the second. Um, okay, so I'm currently in the middle of reading Cassandra Clare's books and I think that City of Bones by Cassandra Clare or like just the Mortal Instruments in general, I'm not liking as much. The second time that I'm reading it and I think I'm not enjoying it this much um, the second time around is because the first time when I read it I think I was in like I started reading it in middle school and then I read the rest in high school um, and so the characters are just kind of young I think Clary's like 15 or 16 maybe um, and so the the teen angst is just like oh I'm a bit over it bit over it but um i think that's why I'm, i enjoy the infernal wife as much more even though the characters are not much older they just seem a little bit more mature but in this one it's just like ah so i i yeah i'm not enjoying it quite as much the second time around but i still i'm, I'm still enjoying it i mean it's a fun read so yeah question number four as you get older you must learn to never skip a bathroom break before jumping in a car ride. Name a book you have read in very few settings. Have you ever walked to the bathroom holding the book and then blindly fumbling for the door handle? I've, I've definitely done that with books where like I'm so invested but I need to go to the bathroom. Um, so I just like read it in the bathroom. But I think the book that I've read in fewest sittings, this is really hard for me because 
um, I took kind of like a three year break in reading when I went to college. I read so much in middle school, so much in high school, and then I went to college and I was just like, I don't know, really busy. Um, I was working a lot. And so I kind of took a break, but now I am um, in a senior in college right now. So I'm about to graduate. I started reading in January a lot more. Um, and so like that break, it has caused me to like forget everything, which is why I'm rereading a lot of my books that I read in high school because I forgot everything. And so it's just really hard for me to remember like how fast I read books. So I actually had to go back to my Goodreads to um, like see when I finished each book, like to see how long it took me. And this book came out, I think May or March 2nd. 2014 and I read it I had finished it May or March whatever much it was 4th 2014 so I read it um and this was the time this was the time where I wasn't ordering off of Amazon I would have to like go to a bookstore so I went to the bookstore when it came out I bought it and then I read it and then I finished it like two days after so um I have read books like faster than that but they were really short books so that's why I'm saying this one it's not it's not a huge book but it's not it's at least 400 yeah it's almost 500 pages so I think this would be the book where I have read it in huge settings I didn't even see the name of this book this book is Empowered by Jessica Shervington this is the last book in the Embrace series I think it's called the Violet Eden chapters um this is like a guilty pleasure read for me um, you know, I read it when I was younger and it's, I mean, it's, it's not intellectually challenging, but <laughs> it's so much fun about angels and it's, it's just really fun. And so, um, I was so excited when this came out and you know, I immediately picked it up, immediately read it. So yeah, I would say this one. I can definitely imagine myself reading this in the bathroom and then blindly fumbling for the door handle. <laughs> Question number five, don't let old age you get you down because it's harder to get back up these days. <laughs> Name a book you had to put down and why. So the book I have chosen for this is Elegy by Amanda Hawking. Um, I don't have it because I unhauled it. I unhauled the whole series, so I'll put a picture here. I, this is, this is, a, I read this at a time in my life when I was reading like six or seven books at a time. And so this one was just not my favorite. So I just kept putting it off. I started it, I got like maybe halfway through. And then I was like, I would rather read other books than read this. So I'm just not going to. So I didn't finish it. And then whenever I was going through my books, um, cause I wanted to decide when I was going to reread books and stuff. And I was just like, I don't want to reread this series. So I unhauled it and that's that. Question number six, age isn't how long you've been alive, it's how many lives you've lived. What book genres have you been wanting to try outside of your comfort zone? Um, this is easy, adult, more like adult fantasy. Um, and so this is where Jessie from The Bogus Moms would help me out a ton. Um, I really wanna start getting into adult fantasy. And um, I've read a few, which I didn't even realize were adult like the Shades of Magic series. It's kind of confusing. Some people say it's YA, some people say it's adult. I'm going to count as an adult because then I feel better that I'm like trying new things. Um, and then Crescent City was also an adult book and so good. So yes, that's the genre that I'm trying to branch out and get into. And even in my May TBR, I have an adult contemporary in there. So that's exciting. Question number seven. Life gets worse the older you get. Luckily, you don't have much left. That's sad. Name a book that slowly turned sour for you, but finished anyways. Were you glad that you stuck it out? So I chose Daughter Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I read this in 2012. So I was 13 years old. And I just don't think I was really old enough to read it. Looking back on it, I don't remember really much about the book, but I do remember being very confused and just throughout the whole book I was like I don't know what's happening I'm confused and I stuck it out I read it I bought the second one but I just never read it 
but I do actually want to give it another go. And so I haven't unhauled it because I do want to read it again because I've heard so many good things about it. But I just think I was too young when I read it and I just didn't understand what was happening. And so that's why I'm like putting it off rereading it because it's like, oh, I have so much bad memories with it. I don't, I just remember being very uncomfortable and like not knowing what's happening. But eventually I need to reread this again. Question number eight is... Peer pressure seems to decrease as you get older. Where did all your friends go? <laughs> Name a book that you checked out because of peer pressure. Were you happy to have tried it? Um, this book is <laughs> The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I read this in middle school and I remember like my one of my friends was reading it and I like took the book and I was like going through it and I was like making fun of it because I didn't really read too much at this time. But I was like, oh, this book looks dumb, uh, you know, who's she kissing? She's kissing two boys, and his, one is her cousin, because, like, I think one of, like, alluded to Gail being a cousin. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> I was just like, I'm not going to read this. And then they're like, you have to read it. You have to read it. You need to read it now. And so then I read it, and, you know, it's Hunger Games. It's pretty good. Fun fact, I love my copies of Hunger Games because I've lent these out to, like, 10 people so so many people have read these copies and I just think it's really cool and then question number nine the last question is friends don't let friends get older alone tag people so I'm going to tag two people some fellow um, booktube newbies some people who have just started their channel on booktube um, spread the love of their new booktube channels and one is Sarah over at Stories Over Tea. She is so fun, so energetic, so cute. Um, and then also I'm going to tag Maddie from Chapters of Gold. Her videos are like almost like calming. She's so chill and like she just seems so mature and smart for her age. Um, and she's just super chill. So I'm going to tag those two people. And that's pretty much it. I don't know why. I feel like when you have a bun on your head, like you just want to move your head. Okay, we're gonna move on. I need to... Oh my god! Remember how I was like, I'm not gonna forget to drink my water? Okay, <clears throat> I, I don't know why I did this to myself. Anyways, uh, if you want to do this tag, then um, do it. <laughs> That's my advice to you. Just do it. I, I think that this chugging water makes me like delirious. But um, anyways, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to see more, do that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I obviously haven't gone anywhere in public in a long time because this is what we're working with. Ah. <sighs>